Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time we're going to be taking a look at more Transformers reveals not coming from Fan First Friday, even though that was lackluster in the amount of reveals, we have more stuff that just suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Now, this is coming from the Transformers Cyberverse line and does confirm that later on we will be seeing Dinobots in the series. This is the Roland Combine Transformers figures. Now, it's a little disappointing because pretty much these are going to rehash something from the Robots in Disguise lineup. In Robots in Disguise, we have these two packs that would combine to form a larger figure, and they were simple toys, they didn't really have too much for articulation, but you'd pretty much just smash them and they would mostly transform, you would have to do some little things to touch it up, but that's essentially what we're getting here. Anyways, the first pack we've got is Bumble Swoop, and uh, you're gonna love the names for this. Bumble Swoop isn't even the dumbest name we've got out of the two packs, but uh, this one is going to feature Bumblebee and Dinobot Swoop. So let's take a look at the alt modes themselves, and uh, for Bumblebee, you can see that he's got some silver touches. You will see some spikes on some of the alt modes for uh, the, the separate figures that aren't the Dinobot. Uh, the other one is the Megatron pack, and you can see some gold bits that kind of look like something from the Dinobots. It's just how it is, but uh, yeah, Bumblebee's car mode, not a lot of paint applications, just silver on top with some blue windscreens, and uh, that's pretty much it. You could also see Dinobot Swoop. Now, what's interesting about Swoop is that you don't see much of the red in the alt mode, but you do see it in the robot mode. And I think it's fair, I kind of like the wings. Uh, the tail is actually a weapon this time around, so you do get weapons to plug onto the figures. But uh, the feet just swing up and uh, plug on top, which is a cheap little thing, but it's whatever. Uh, I do like the missiles on the side of the wings, I think that's nice. And uh, taking a look at the robot mode, like I said, you get a little bit more red, you get it on the head, and it does kind of look like a preschool toy, but I kind of like the blend of the blue and red, because some people prefer the blue swoop, some people prefer the red swoop, well, here, now, you don't really have to decide. Uh, the Bumblebee looks basic, again, definitely reminds me of some of those early robots in disguise, clash and combine, whatever these were called things. And uh, again, you can see that Swoop's tail and apparently the feet will form the weapon. And uh, Swoop does look pretty large with his wings, and uh, I'm not complaining about that. Taking a look at the combined mode, so this is Bumble Swoop, and again, that weapon plays a part here. And uh, you can see Bumblebee's face does look kind of weird. I'm not sure if I'm into it, but you can see uh, a little more the yellow does blend on the top. Uh, you can also see that the red completely disappears now, but that's probably because the yellow is now the secondary color. You can also see that Bumblebee's arms are just out for no reason. You're not really supposed to have that, but I guess you can. And, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and you can also see Swoop's arms at the top there. But, uh, yeah, it, it's okay, I guess. Uh, for something for kids, I guess it's alright. And then we also have Slugtron. Congratulations! You figured out the dumbest name ever! Anyways, uh, this one has Megatron, which kind of reminds me of that one-step bludgeon we got in Cyberverse, and it also comes with Slug, which uh, there's no surprise there if you take a look at the name. Uh, taking a look at the alt modes for these characters, uh, as you can see, Megatron is his tank form, and that's why I talked about the uh, Dinobot uh, details. You can see that on the top of the Fusion Cannon. And uh, Slug kind of reminds me of, there was a Robots in Disguise minicon that transformed into, I think it was a Triceratops, and the arms just remind me of that. But it also reminds me of that little Legion class or Legends class uh, Dinobot Slug repaint that came out for, I think it was Dark of the Moon? We had some little Cyberverse repaints, I, I think that's what it was. But anyways, um... I guess it looks alright. It's, it's, it's nothing that uh, really screams at me. I kind of like the look of Megatron's tank mode, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, taking a look at the robot mode, Slug kind of looks like a, a G1 toy, if I have to be honest. I, I'm not complaining about that, but he just he really reminds me of a G1 toy. And Megatron, the only articulation he gets is the arms spread out, and uh, he definitely looks bulky. Uh, you can see that uh, the tank mode is pretty much just underneath him. Uh, I don't really have much to say. I kind of like the red coming through the back of the tank, but other than that, uh, I mean, it's Megatron. We've seen him a billion times in the Cyberverse line. And then we've got Slugtron! And uh, again, we've got a character on top and a character at the bottom. This time it goes the other way around compared to the uh, Bumble Swoop. 
And uh, I do like the fact that you got the fusion cannon, which can connect to the side. You also have another cannon on the side, the other side of the arm. Um, and I do like the fact that the turret separates on the chest. I, I actually think that's a nice touch, but uh, otherwise, I also do like the fact that the colors blend this time around because you have gray on gray with red details, so that's very nice. Uh, the head sculpt, you will notice that for the Megatron upgrades, his head sculpt usually is a reference to Galvatron. You can see it at that um, Battle Call Megatron with the armor attachment that covers the face. You can see the Galvatron crown. For here, you can kind of see it. Now, it doesn't have the front part, but it does have the horns on the side. But what I will say is it kind of reminds me of Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper in its design. I don't know if anyone else gets that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, not much else to talk about, but it is cool that we're getting something else to be revealed today that's not just from Fan First Friday. Uh, with that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun, dudeheads. And I will see you guys next time.